Now, one of the other uh, chemical weapons uh, that are used against the population worldwide is aspartame. It's now in tens of thousands of products because people have woken up to it in soft drinks and are demanding stevia and other alternatives. Well, now they've just deployed it into gums, candies, baked goods, uh, pills, over-the-counter stuff. It is wild what this is doing. So our very own uh, investigative uh, reporter, Darren McBreen, went out on the streets of Austin, Texas to talk to locals and find out if they were aware of the admitted dangers coming from Oat Monsanto that bought Searle. Searle couldn't get it approved in the 60s and 70s, but guess what? Good old Monsanto could get it approved under Ronald Reagan. And uh, you know the rest of the story, but I wanted to get into more of the details here. Now, Darren, I mean, there's so much research on this. And since I asked you a few weeks ago to look into aspartame, you knew quite a bit about it, but you've done a crash course and learned a lot more. Indeed. Give us a basic breakdown before we get to this man on the street report. Well, this might be the largest health hazard ever to hit the food industry. Uh, we've got numerous health officials, tons of independent studies have warned us of the very serious and documented side effects of aspartame. No big surprise, Monsanto Corporation's name is in the mix. You know, we all know they're the makers of Agent Orange. Um, they're the largest biotech company in the world. They created aspartame using genetically modified bacteria. And now it's manufactured by big pharma giant Pfizer. And uh, they lobbied, and uh, whose lobbyists and political connections basically got them approved by the FDA. And of course, this was back when they used to be uh, G.D. Searle and Donald Rumsfeld was at the helm. And so, so many of the additives, not just aspartame, you learn, are these drugs. And it's drug companies making them. And, and, and they feed a certain type of toxic waste. The Army developed this mm -hmm. in what, in like 65 to E. coli, the first genetically engineered bacteria they changed was E. coli, and it craps out. I hate to get detailed, but it is. No, no, You're right. eating a, a mutated bacteria's crap. Yeah. It's defecation, and it's highly toxic and highly addictive. I mean, this is amazing, Darren. Well, this is what it comes down to. You've got a, a multi-billion dollar pharmaceutical company manufacturing artificial sweeteners that's consumed by millions of people. And, you know, make no mistake about it, Big Pharma profits from sickness, not health. So uh, it's easy to see the motivation to push the product. It makes perfect evil sense. Well, I've seen this piece you put together. I played part of it on the radio, but we've got an addendum we're going to premiere here tonight. But uh, and, and now I've seen this, and I noticed most of the folks um, in the man on the street, and, and you put everybody you talk to in there, they know aspartame's bad. They've heard about it. They even know about the rat studies. But they still trust their government and the EPA and the FDA. Sadly, if it's got the FDA stamp of approval on there, they'll still consume it. You know, they might not, uh, you know, take it every single day. They might be a little apprehensive about it, but that FDA stamp of approval means a lot. Well, the EPA has come out, the sister agency of the FDA, as you know, mm -hmm. since Fukushima and the radioactive levels went up. And they've raised some isotopes 100,000 times, what they were previously saying was safe. And all over the world, they announced last week a unified upping of what they say is safe radiation. And uh, what, in Illinois yesterday, a reactor had to put off a bunch of radioactive steam? They just said, no matter. We've raised the levels of what's safe. It's now good for you. Just like they wouldn't let the troops use DU up until 1990, And uh, now they let them use it, and it's killing them. That's right. That's what they do. And, and sadly... You know, we're still at the point where, like I said, people see the FDA stamp of approval. They think it's safe, and sadly, uh, as well, is uh, a lot of children. You know, aspartame is in most of the uh, kid beverages. Pedialyte for All babies? The, yes. How yes. loving. Flintstone vitamins, you know. So it's, it's a multivitamin uh, vitamin for children, and kids are taking it every single day. Well, we wonder why the United States has the highest rate of cancer, obesity, diabetes, I mean, I go to restaurants and places, and i got to be honest. I mean, you know, uh, I hate to say this, but it's very sad. The children look like they've been fed toxic waste. Mm -hmm. I mean, well-to-do families, you name it. These don't look like kids when I was growing up. Uh, and I keep my children away from almost all this stuff, and it is just god-awful to see what zombies they've turned them into. Yeah. But they're going to be slaves to the medical tyranny now. Um, I've been interrupting. Any other points that you, the, that you found in your investigation before we go to this piece? Well, another thing I was thinking about, you know, the FDA has studies, obviously, that um, 
dismiss the dangers of aspartame, but it's ironic because they also have studies that contradict their own studies. You know, they've got studies that say it's good, and then they've got studies that say it's bad. And, of course, they're trying to suppress those, but they have come out. So those studies are available. In fact, Kurt Nimmo did an article, and he lists the uh, number of uh, aspartame side effects. But you notice the studies that are pro are Monsanto's own studies. Take the one in, what, 78, when they couldn't get it approved. Mm -hmm. A bunch of the monkeys died or were brain damaged, the babies they gave it to, but they just took those out of the study and said, see, it's safe with the other part. Well, the vast majority of the studies that say it's healthy were, were uh, conducted by the aspartame industry, no doubt. Well, it's, it's amazing that, I mean, it should say, not aspartame, but genetically engineered bacteria feces. <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. That's right. People look up aspartame manufacturing process. Well, this is not a secret. I mean, it's made in a chemical lab. It, it's made in a biotech weapons lab. That's what the Pentagon was developing when it happened. They said, oh, this is a great neurotoxin. People love this. I mean, how many drugs are actually poisons? It's addictive. It makes you sick. Here's that report by Darren McBrain. of popular diet and sugar-free foods and beverages contain an artificial sweetener that researchers say may cause cancer. The ingredient is aspartame, and it is by far the most dangerous substance on the market that is added to our foods. Aspartame is an artificial sweetener found in thousands of products worldwide, and chances are you are consuming it. It's added to sugar-free gum, juice beverages, tabletop sweeteners like Equal and NutraSweet. It's in cereals, soft drinks, yogurt, breath mints, multivitamins, wine coolers, and even over-the-counter medicines. The toxic long-term effects of aspartame are often dismissed as a hoax by the sweetener industry. However, numerous independent controlled studies using human subjects have concluded that aspartame is deadly. Now, there's a number of studies that claim that aspartame is completely safe to consume, but the vast majority of those studies were conducted by, well, you guessed it, the aspartame industry. In fact, groups like Monsanto, J.D. Searle, and ILSI concluded that aspartame posed no health risk. But that's about as credible as Marlboro, Camel, and Winston dismissing the link between cigarette smoking and cancer. Have you heard of aspartame? Um, yes, I've heard of it before. Have you heard good things or bad things? I hear mostly bad things about what it. What kind of bad things? Um, just like it's an artificial sweetener and it's bad for your health and you should try to stay away. I've heard it's an artificial sweetener and I'm guilty of drinking beverages sweetened with it. Uh, however, it degenerates and it does harmful things. What do you think about aspartame? I don't like it. It gives me headaches. They did studies on, on rats. Uh, it supposedly causes cancer. Even Fox News recently reported in 2005 that artificial sweeteners had been linked to a wide range of cancers after studying uh, involving rats. So these rats actually had tumors the size of golf balls. So does that concern you when you hear stuff like that? Greatly, yes. And the FDA is supposed to be protecting us from things like cancer, not giving it to us and, and telling us it's safe. You cannot go to the grocery store now and buy any type of even regular sugar gum that hasn't had aspartame added to it. In the 1970s, Searle tried to get it approved and they couldn't. It took them three separate times because in their own studies with monkeys, large portions of them that were fed it died and contracted cancer. Now we have mainstream news articles and the EU has done a major study finding lower birth weights, early birth, and yes, miscarriages from women that drink aspartame laden soft drinks like Coke Zero. Do you think that aspartame should be on the market today? No. Why not? Because it hasn't been demonstrated to be safe. The FDA looked at the research and in 1975 put aspartame's approval on hold. It set up an independent panel of doctors to study aspartame. In 1980, that public board of inquiry unanimously ruled aspartame should not go on the market. Edith was drinking a cup of low-calorie hot chocolate that night. Aspartame made it sweet. And Johnson says aspartame made her sick. All of a sudden, I couldn't see. My eyes went 
out of focus and it was like and my vision became quite blurred and you think it's because of aspartame i think it's very deliberately because of aspartame yes it was terrifying kate randall thought she was going crazy i started popping in my hands and twitching in my feet my legs my knees my upper legs and shoulders and arms and everywhere many of these individuals who have been aspartame reactors have tested themselves five 10, 20 times, every time getting the same response, and then they realized that this was a legitimate cause and effect relationship. What is aspartame? It is the fecal matter of the E. coli bacteria. They took it and genetically engineered it. They can feed it toxic waste, and then it defecates aspartame. And it has so many bad health effects, it's just unspeakable. How do you think a product like that was managed to be approved by the FDA? Oh, I think there's loopholes to everything. And I say shut the FDA down, shut down any government agency that's not doing its job. Would you think that possibly the FDA is corrupt? I, I'm going to go ahead and say no. I, I trust the FDA with, with my health. Do you think there's a chance the FDA could be corrupt? About as big a chance as any other part of our government. <laughs> Now, the FDA approval of aspartame was highly contested and subject to multiple congressional hearings and scientific criticism. In fact, aspartame was continuously rejected by the FDA for over 15 years until it was finally approved in 1981. Since that time, the FDA has published a list of 92 symptoms of aspartame poisoning, which includes headaches, vision loss, including blindness, seizures, neurological problems, cardiovascular problems, and death. The FDA even admits adverse reactions to aspartame comprise about 80% of consumer complaints it receives each year. Yet the dangerous substance remains on the market and is consumed by millions of people every single day. I'm Darren McBreen for InfoWars Nightly News.